Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at OBS, which is Open Broadcast Software. It's a free piece of software which is open source, which allows you to capture your desktop screen uh, for those how-to videos, or it can capture all your gaming for streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Works for Windows and also Mac OS, and it also uh, works for Linux as well. So it's free to download and uh, set up. I'll show you how to set it all up for streaming and also for recording your desktop. Now it's about 100 megabytes in size and I've already downloaded mine so let's open it up. Now don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when I upload new videos every day. So let's go ahead and install this. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So we're just going to go next here. Agree to the terms and conditions. Click next and then click install and this will install the actual software on your system so let's open up OBS and take a look at it so we're just going to agree to their license terms so just click OK here and it will ask you whether you want to auto config so we're going to say no here because we want to manually do this ourselves. so we're going to go no and you can always do that later on if you need to so let me just expand uh, this uh, screen here so you can see what OBS is. Now this is a very powerful piece of software and uh, I'm going to show you some of the basics here that you can do to get up and running. You see a black screen here and this is uh, your scene and you've got your sources here uh, which you can add more sources in. So if you want to right click and enable preview you should see this black box on here. So inside our scenes, you can rename these as well to whatever you want. So you can have as many scenes as you like, and you can have as many sources as you like. You see, you can just rename these. So let's add a scene in here by clicking the plus button and looking through here. Now you can see game capture here. This can capture all your gameplay and desktop capture is to capture your desktop. So as you can see, we've got loads of options open here for us. I'm going to click on uh, display capture and change this to desktop uh, capture and click OK and you can see it's ready to start capturing our desktop. Now it does look a bit weird but don't worry you try to keep these all named and listed down here like your intro, outro and uh, intermission and stuff like that okay. So I'll show you how to make some of those in future videos but as you can see here this is what we're displaying here just going to remove this because it'll be a lot easier to show you on a black screen. So down here we have our duration, our fade, and we have our microphone and desktop audio. So mic and augs, click on the little cogwheel here and we can go straight into properties and you can select your microphone, uh, what you're using here. So if I select one of these, you'll see when I do select it, the uh, bar down the bottom will start to go up and down when I'm speaking here. So that's uh, the actual bar there moving up and down. Now obviously I don't want to record audio here. I'm just showing you exactly what to do. So that's how you can set that up there. So what we're going to do here is take a look over the right hand side. You can see we have start streaming and start recording and also studio mode and settings and exit. So we can go into the bottom right hand corner here where we have CPU and record and also live. So the live is where you're going to do your live streaming and also the record is to record your desktop. So they're two different things. So let's go up to file and click on settings here. Now this is our settings panel. You can see we're under general and you've got your themes here which you can change and you can change them to whatever theme you like. Uh, the dark theme is quite nice but I will change it to the light theme in a second just to... Uh, show you a little bit more clearer here. So if we look at the stream, this is our streaming options. And of course we do have our streaming services here, which is uh, selected by default Twitch. And you can change this to YouTube or any other type of uh, streaming content on there, which you want to stream to. So you need to add in your stream key. Now you want to keep this private here. Let me just change this back to uh, default here. So we've got a nice clear screen so you can see it. There we go. So inside stream key, this is going to need to be kept private because if someone gets this, they're going to be able to stream on your channel without your permission. So make sure you keep that private. It will be in your settings on your Twitch account or YouTube account. Just look in there and you will find your uh, stream uh, key. Okay, And you just paste that in there 
and that's pretty much it that's all set up and ready to go so you've got some other options up here as well show all services and you also got your stream type and so on but pretty much that's all you need to do inside here I'm going to go to output now on the outputs you'll see output mode and we're going to go to advanced here Now we have some options we have streaming recording and these are the two ones that are going to be uh, looked at today so streaming is basically when you want to stream to uh, YouTube or Twitch and you can see we have a load of other features here the recording part is when you want to record your desktop so how to videos like I do so that's what you can do there so let's take a look at the streaming option first you've got audio track you have got six tracks here so you can, if you're doing a podcast say you can have up to two microphones here where you can uh, talk uh, both talk at the same time and you can have two audio uh, feeds in there you can have up to six which is really nice as well now encoder x264 that's probably going to suit most people uh, with uh, medium to uh, lower end systems you don't have to worry about it so much but if you've got a pretty much a beefier computer you can use this one here and this is if you've got a you know a 970 a 980 1080 or 1070 graphics card it's going to use the graphics GPU uh, to do that for you and encode which is much better so here we have rescale output this is just going to rescale the output so uh, you want to if you want to rescale it you can do uh, but I'm going to leave that option as is. I don't need to touch that. You just put the tick in here and change the rescale options if you want to rescale the output of what you're uh, recording. Now, rate control is CBR. We're going to leave that as is. And uh, there's some other options in there, but we'll leave that as is. Now, the bit rate, we're going to leave that at 3,500 here. And the reason why is because you don't want this too high because otherwise people aren't going to be able to stream your content down because it's going to be too much. The higher the bit rate will be better the quality so just bear that in mind okay so keep that about 3500 if you if people start complaining about lag and uh, stuff like that then you may need to drop that down a little bit at a time until you get happy with uh, the bit rate for your stream but 3500 is pretty much the norm for most uh, streamers here on the presets you can set this to high quality uh, profile you can set this to uh, main and again, if you're having any troubles, just lo start to lower the settings, okay, on the bitrate. That's pretty much it. Now, on the recording part, this is to record your desktop screen. So you're not going to be broadcasting this across the internet. And this means you can uh, bump up the uh, bitrate a bit more. But we'll take a look. So first off, choose your uh, recording path. Now, this is to store your files. I would rather store these on a secondary hard drive. And uh, the generate file name without spaces is if, if you want that option, it's pretty much self explanatory. Uh, the recording format uh, is MP4, we're going to select, and it gives you a warning, but that's okay, it, it's never had a problem. You've also got audio tracks here, so if you've got more than one audio track, you can set this up as you want. Now, normally I only have one audio track, so I'll leave that as one. Again, the encoder, this goes for the same as before. If you've got a x264 if you've got a normal standard system that will work just fine but if you've got a decent graphics card you may want to put it on here okay so again uh, rescale output is the same as streaming you can do the same there if you want to and you've got your custom uh, settings here if you want to mess with those I leave them as they are the rate control I'm going to come down here and change this to CBR now for your recording of the desktop it doesn't really matter so much about uh, the bitrate because obviously you're just recording your desktop so I'm going to put this at 40,000 and I think um, uh, Nvidia's screen capture uses something around that setting for their desktop uh, recording so it ain't going to matter because no one's going to need to stream that content down so set the preset to high and also we're going to leave that on main and if you want to play around with these other settings you can do but that's pretty much uh, the settings that I would use on this system now coming down to audio here we're going to take a look at the uh, sample rate here you can see 44.1 let me just go back here I meant to mention audio here uh, audio bit rate you can change this to 320 this will give you better audio so I'm just going to change that to there on that track then go back to audio here and you can see sample rate is 40 4.1 kilohertz and we also have 48 kilohertz 
Now, if you don't know what that is, you can always check your sound here. So go into sound settings and go to where it says recording and look at your recording device. Go into advanced and you can see mine is 48. So we're going to put this at 48 for our one. Leave that on stereo, that's okay, and all the rest is okay. So drop down to video. Now this one is really important. As you can see here, we do have some settings we need to take a look at. Now if you do have a, a monitor that's 1920 by 1080, this will be your base uh, resolution for your monitor. So if you've got a larger monitor like I have, you may want to bump that up to a higher resolution of your monitor. Now the output scale is what you're going to broadcast it at. So if you're doing YouTube, uh, you want to broadcast that at a lower res. So game capture, normally 720 is what uh, gamers uh, send that out at. Now, obviously, if you've got some crazy computer and some crazy internet speed. You can up that a bit. But just remember, people have to download that stream and it could be a bit difficult uh, for them to uh, download that on a, a phone or a tablet or something like that. So you may want to keep that at 1980 by 720 and just up the uh, sample rate to 32 samples and we're going to use 60 frames per second now this is what most twitch users uh, will use uh, 1920 by 1080 and they will broadcast at 12 1280 by 720 and you should get a pretty sharp picture now if you're recording on your desktop uh, for your records now remember streaming and recording the two different things if you're recording you don't need to use those settings okay what you want to do if you're recording your desktop is put your screen resolution as your base up the top again and on your output you want to put identical okay for the recording part for your desktop to record okay not gaming because streamers will not be able to stream your 2k content down it'll be too much and uh, it will be too difficult for them to, and it'll be laggy and it'll probably freeze in and all sorts of stuff like that. So just bear those uh, facts in mind. It's pretty straightforward. For this, this is streaming, and uh, for your recording, it's just like for the like, okay? Pretty straightforward stuff. And let me just show you here, if you've got this monitor, I'm just gonna up this here for my, my screen resolution and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, start streaming and also stop streaming start recording stop recording and all the other types of settings these are hotkeys i'd advise you to set these up it makes life a lot easier you can put them in there and clear them by hitting the clear button very easy to set up i'm going to set it up as start and stop as f1 and f2 move on to the advanced and uh, going up to the uh, process priority here if you've got a pretty beefy computer like i have then you can set this to high and uh, i've got 64 gig of memory and also an i7 uh, processor so that's plenty now if you've got a pretty lower end computer you want to maybe change these down to above normal uh, normal or below depending on what quality of machine you've got okay and just it's just a trial and error uh, because there's so many computers out there with different sort of processing power so that's to suit everyone okay but try to push it to the highest you can with your computer uh, as you can and that's pretty much it for those settings. We've got those all set up now, and all we need to do is uh, click OK and apply, and that's it, we're all set. Now all we need to do is put our source back in for our capture what we want to do. Now whether it's gaming or whether it's uh, display capture, we're gonna do a display capture for the desktop, uh, but if you do want a game, you can click on this one and you can put in your gaming settings inside here. I will try and cover this in another video uh, for you for streaming because it is a little bit different to recording your desktop screen. But I wanted to cover all the basic settings in this one. But if you do want to see either one, let me know and I'll try and do my best to make those videos for you. But you can see you can add those in and you can add them all in so you can just switch between the two, okay? Uh, for whatever you want to use. So I'm going to do a display capture here and just rename this um, uh, desktop capture. And I've uh, misspelled that. So let me just go back here and just quickly change this. So do desktop uh, capture here. Now I've got two Ks. There we go. Go there in the end. And uh, as you can see here, we've got our screen resolution right here. And just make sure that you are capturing at that screen resolution and also broadcasting at that because we're recording our screen we're not streaming okay click ok here then set up your microphone 
uh, to whatever you want. So you could hear your microphone and then push your start key uh, and then you'll start uh, recording. Now, the reason why I set hotkeys is so you don't see this OBS screen. And that means that it's just one less uh, feature to cut out in your video. And you can see here, we've got the CPU running and the frames per second is 60 frames per second. And the record button is starting because I've pushed F1 on the keyboard. And that's pretty much it. You can record whatever you like. And I'll do some recordings here just to show you exactly what it looks like when it's finished recording. So I'm going to put this down there. So now I've pushed F1 and we're starting to capture the screen. And uh, it should be really high definition and really good quality. I'll just do the scrolling through the menu system here as if I was doing a tutorial. And again, click OK here and close this off. And now I'm going to push F2 to stop the stream and we can now check out our image and see what it looks like. Now you can see here we've got a video here. Let me right click and go properties. You can see that has actually captured 2560 by 1440 just as I set it up 60 frames per second two channel in stereo. And that's exactly how that's been set up and it will record very high definition video for you in recording. Now if you're streaming again you would need to change those settings with your profile that you set up for streams okay but look at the quality of that uh, capture there it's very very sharp and that's because we've set that up exactly how we want there's no lag there whatsoever just as you would see it on the computer here very clear and if you're making tutorials that's great you can do all your other after effects afterwards and it, this program is free guys so if you're wondering whether there's a good free uh, capture software out there then this is a really must have better kit it's free and it's really awesome and it's easy to use and that's pretty much it that's how you can set it up uh, OBS open broadcast software anyway that's about it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to see more on OBS let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.